So when we're uh, cropping new images for the header area on the site, there is a really good, there's a lot actually good of uh, free online tools that you can use to uh, crop images instead of having to use um, Photoshop or some you know professional program. And this one is called Photo.com, and I will include the URL in the website handbook. But if you go to this URL, it'll take you to this page, and you can click the Get Started button, and it'll take you to the uh, image cropping area. And there's a lot of different um, tools you can use, too. So what we'll do is go up here to Open and choose the image we want to crop and change around. So, um, so let's do this one. Choose the image, click Open, and it'll upload the image. Uh, now from here, a lot of these images are um, pretty large. Um, it'll tell you down here how big they are at the moment. And what we want to do first is we want to resize it. And it'll give the width by the height. And we want this to be proportional when we put it down to the correct size, which is a width of 1680. And we want to make sure this little lock icon is on the lock position so that when we change the width, then the height will change according to that. So let's do 1680. And you'll see that it's the, the right size. It's the way it should be. But if you, let's say, you don't have this locked and we change the width, it'll then uh, distort the image. So we want to make sure that the lock icon is on. We'll do that. 1680. And then we can go from there. So that'll automatically stay the same. So then we want to go up to crop. And the header image areas are 1680 by 600. So we want to keep um, we want to keep that um, same proportions and let's go to up here and when we click on crop it'll drop this down and we just want to type in here the crop area we want to have 1680 by 600 and then it'll show an example of how it is. Now we can take this and we can drag this around the way we want it and this is the area that the header image will show and if you remember on the site when a new hit header image is uploaded, it'll actually take off a little bit of the top and the bottom. So we want the main focus area to be, um, the best way would be inside this middle square row. Um, but if it's, you know, too big for that, like, you know, the airplane goes up here and the kid's face is down here, we want to uh, move this around the best way um, that we think it'll look on the site. So let's do this. Um, there's a little spacing under his chin, so that would be good. And it doesn't show the entire plane, but it kind of shows the general idea. So once we have the image the way, way we want it, go on over here, click Apply, and then it'll adjust the image. And if we uh, like it and we think that's good, if not, we can just click the Undo button and go back to um, recropping it. So let's do this. Let's move this down where we had it, hit apply, and we got our new image. So all we have to do now is go up here to the save icon, click that, and then we can either save it to our computer, um, to the Dropbox, or we can just straight up download it. And we want to make sure the quality is high or highest. Highest would take a little more time to load on the site, so high would probably be good. So if we do that, we got everything click download it and it'll download the image to our computer. So let's just pull that up, see how it is, and that's our new header image. And then from there you can then um, place that into the page into the featured image area and replace that. And what you can do is you can upload a new header image, try it out, see how it looks, and you, if you don't like the way it looks, come back here and just readjust the crop but we want to keep that same proportion. We want to keep the 1680 by 600 um, because the 1680 width is good for the majority of screens. Some people have high definition screens which are like 1920 and higher, um, but that's a very small percentage of people. So the 16 by 80 is the normal size and we want to keep it at that. 